You mean like this? Actually, he's doing pretty advanced stuff. Maybe you should... Ah! Oh! Uh-oh. You are made of stupid. Do you want to be in a future FUDW? Yes! Stick around to the end of the video to find out how. This video is brought to you by viewers like you. Thank you. Be sure to subscribe and help get this video to 2,000 likes. And I see... The episode opens with Mr. Ratburn giving a lecture about plowing, a topic he and Mr. Reed are all too familiar with. Arthur imagines what it'd be like if his friends were teachers. Turns out Buster would be the kind of teacher to terrorize his students with his indoor motorcycle, while the brain would outsource his labor to the brainwave box from Batman Forever, thus making his job as a teacher redundant. DW's preschool class is on a field trip to Lakewood Elementary. She tries to sit with Arthur until he tells her to piss off. DW proceeds to destroy her brother's reputation by telling everyone in earshot about his fear of underwear, and brandishes a pair of his boxers for all the world to see. Bitch showed up with a plan. Arthur wallows in shame as he watches his social life go down the shitter. The preschoolers are teamed up with the third graders to give a group presentation in front of the whole school. Arthur gets paired with the Tibble Tricksters, who end up triggering his PTSD. I like it when toys fall out of windows! Smash! I told you not to touch it! Binky is paired up with DW and quickly realizes they have nothing in common, aside from their shared near-death experience. DW reveals her entire personality is based around My Little Pony, a revelation so horrifying, Binky's left eyebrow runs away from his face. Binky begs Mr. Ratburn to let him switch partners. Mr. Ratburn tells him, tough shit. DW tells Binky she wants to put on a play about a unicorn who gives pony rides to a literal pony. Binky says hell no, as he has a hard stance against horses riding other kinds of horses. DW threatens Binky with a failing grade if he doesn't comply with her demands. Binky tries to pull a reverse uno, only for DW to point out that preschoolers don't get grades. So why the hell are they doing these projects in the first place? Binky says fuck it and decides to take the F. The two are about to throw fists until they get entranced by a commercial for Riverdance. The duo decides to put on their own dance for the showcase. There's just one problem. DW can't dance. <laughs> Binky takes it upon himself to teach ballet to the big mouth booger eater. Unfortunately, DW is so clumsy, she can't even bend down and stand up again without falling on her ass. Whoa! Ooh. Oh, brother. Binky gets a swollen head. Er, a more swollen head, as he insists DW call him Mr. Barnes. As in, Mr. Barnes is a douchebag. He tries to cram two years of ballet lessons into two hours. DW tries to keep up and ends up destroying a lamp, prompting Binky to get the fuck out of Dodge. The next day, Binky goes over tap dancing, only to find out DW shoved sharp-ass thumbtacks into the bottom of her shoes. What the fuck? Fiddle dee dee! That will require a tetanus shot. Turns out DW didn't review any of the moves Binky showed her. Didn't you learn anything from those index cards? Of course not! I can't read! Okay, first off, DW, this is like the fifth time the show has gone back and forth on whether you can read or not. Either learn how to read or shut the fuck up. Second, even if you can't read, you couldn't get your parents to read them to you, nobody has time for your lazy ass excuses. DW gives up hope on ever learning how to dance. Binky tries to comfort her, but even he can't deny how much she sucks ass. Things go from bad to worse when Binky gets called out by his fellow tough customers for doing ballet, even though they've already seen him do ballet before and were very supportive. And don't try to claim this episode takes place before the green chip incident, because that was Binky's whole incentive for learning ballet in the first place. Man, season 8 as a whole really said fuck it to the show's continuity. Binky lies to his friends and says he was teaching DW a new form of kung fu. His fib backfires when the two insist Binky teaches them. The lesson goes horribly. Rattles and Molly chew Binky out for not taking the time or care to properly teach them the moves. This leads Binky to an epiphany. I thought DW was just a bad student. I was being a lousy teacher. Two things can be true at the same time. Over the next few days, Binky revises his teaching methods and manages to turn DW and his friends into semi-decent dancers. It's the day before the presentation and everything is set until Binky falls and twists his ankle. Whoa, ah! Did you guys hear my ribs crack? Ironically, DW is horrified at the idea of having the whole stage to herself, 
so Binky tricks his friends into filling in for him. The next day, we see the Tibble Tycoons use their presentation as an excuse to beat the shit out of Arthur and Buster. DW is up next, and we finally get to see the dance the episode has spent 10 minutes building up to, which lasts 5 goddamn seconds. Seriously, even the Tibble Trash's presentation gets more screen time. After the show, Binky gifts DW his first pair of ballet slippers, which are way too big and probably smell like ass. We then get the most out of pocket fourth wall break in the show. You gotta listen to your heart. Listen to the beat. Listen to the rhythm. The rhythm of the street. Ah, ah, he said it. He said it. The episode ends with DW trying on the slippers and presumably breaking her neck. Whoa. Let's review. DW used her class field trip as an excuse to humiliate her brother in front of his peers. She showed off his underwear to the entire school, ensuring a never-ending barrage of swirlies and ball-busting for Arthur's foreseeable future. She refused to compromise with Binky on their group project and tried to strong-arm him into being her unicorn cuck. When the two finally bonded over their mutual love of dance, DW struggled to learn the most basic moves and destroyed her own lamp in the process. But in all fairness, DW wasn't the only asshole in this episode, lest we forget Binky Barnes, who used his knowledge of ballet as a means to stroke his own ego. He badgered DW for not doing everything right on the first try and only changed his ways when his friends pointed out he was being a total dick. And even when the two finally learned their dance, Binky ended up twisting his ankle like a dumbass, leaving DW to hog all the glory for herself. So, F you Binky for being a bad teacher. And of course, for making Binky's life harder than it needs to be, F you DW. And I say, hey. hey, do you want to be on F you DW? That's all you had to say. Send me a 10 second video of you saying F you DW, and your clip might just be featured in a future episode. Use the Google form in the pinned comment to submit your video. And make sure to include the hashtags FUDW and FUDW submission so I know the video is yours. Also, I have a Patreon. Sign up at patreon.com slash Neff to get your name in the thank you credits as well as early access to both FUDW and FU Caillou. If there's a movie or show you'd like me to talk about, top tier patrons can commission a review for my channel. Check out the link in the description to become an FUDW superfan. Also, I'm now on Cameo, so make sure to check out my profile to get a personalized FU video. Next time on FUDW. Do any of you know a secret? Don't worry, you can tell me. I won't tell anybody. Please tell me. Please. And I say, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. If you could learn to work and play and get along with each other.